Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Today we're going to do your uh, weekly reading. This is uh, May 3rd through the 9th. Please remember that the timing is general, uh, the reading is general, and the timing is flexible. Okay. Everything else you need to know is in the description box if you want to request a personal reading or if you'd like to enter my giveaway. I do do a monthly giveaway which is coming up soon. And then lastly, uh, my new channel, Heal to Love 333. It's a meditation, healing, and manifestation channel. Uh, there are some popular videos below. A lot of the videos are for opening up your chakras so that you can attract love and abundance in your life. I do have a new video for attracting your soul, your, I'm sorry, your true love or your soulmate. And then also just want to mention with personal readings, just make sure you email me first before going online and booking, uh, just because I am, um, the scheduling's very tight right now, okay? It should open up more next week, uh, but just please email me before you, um, you pay for a reading. So let's get started here. Um, I just pulled one card uh, from the Healing Oracle, and this is the um, Animal Spirit Oracle. And let's get started with your reading. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you have inner strength. Nothing moves me from my path to the light because I have complete confidence in myself. I realize my innate qualities and abilities, and I know that with God, or my higher power, I can do anything. All the power I need is within me. Okay, so beautiful energy there. So you may be feeling very confident right now or actually for this week, uh, I see a lot of confidence, a lot of strength, even a lot of passion with this orange energy here. I feel this is your sacral chakra uh, really coming alive and opening up. So. Uh, there is a sacral chakra video below. So if this is a challenge or a struggle for you, you can do the sacral chakra video. Now, I also want to say um, too that it's really good if you want to uh, do this as a uh, affirmation daily, if this is an area that you are struggling with. So it feels like you're going to be very confident uh, for the week. And let's see what we have for your animal spirit cards. So you have number 16, which is seven, the coyote spirit, trust and divine detours. All right, so there may be some things happening this week that you're not understanding why they're happening, but they're trying to tell you that, spirit's trying to say that there may be some different paths that maybe may not feel comfortable, and maybe that's where you're needing the strength. You may not be feeling comfortable or you don't understand why it happens. And sometimes we get in that energy when we're not really in the here and now. And here you have also number seven, uh, humming, uh, 34, which is hummingbird spirit, be here now. So living in the present moment, um, you know, because if we try to control the energy or we're thinking it's going to happen a certain way, that's why they're telling you here, it's not going to happen how you think it's going to happen. So you might as well stay present. Okay. Enjoy life, stay present. Um, and just enjoy the moment here because that's how you're going to manifest and attract the things that you want. Okay. And then the bottom of the deck, you have uh, number 41, which is five. You have the nightingale spirit. Love is all around. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful energy there. So actually I'm going to move these cards uh, up here. So very nice energy there. So there may be something uh, just around the corner that's going to happen in love. It doesn't have to be a love partner. It can be, you know, people appreciating you, showing you love, that kind of thing. But it also can be something unexpected, I feel, in love. So let's um, pull some tarot. I want to let you know, if you're new to my channel, that... Um, Anything goes on the weeklies. I do the love readings separately, so this can be about love, career, finances, just any messages that come out for you. So I'm going to pull one card for the overall energy for Pisces. 
and then uh, the bottom of the deck will be the challenge for the week. So thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. I pray that this reading for Pisces is for the highest good and purest intentions. I pray that you give Pisces the accurate messages and details they need to know for their journey. I pray that this reading will give them clarity and healing if needed. I thank you for your love, your wisdom, and your guidance. And may there always be love and light here. Amen. So let's get one card for the overall energy. Oh, we got two cards. Look at that. Six of Cups and the King of Cups. I feel that there is someone uh, definitely in this week who is thinking about you. Love is all around. There's a lot of emotion here, a lot of feelings here. This can be uh, you know, someone that you know from your past. Uh, but very nostalgic energy and also um, I feel here either you or someone is definitely thinking about the other person. There's a lot of emotion. I almost feel here too with this inner strength that there might be somebody here or you may. Someone here wants to reach out to someone. Uh, so very nice energy. And look what we have here. <laughs> the emperor uh, as the challenge. So you could be dealing with an Aries. You, um, This is your energy here, Pisces, but you also have Cancer, Scorpio. What I'm getting with the Emperor is uh, the word that came out to me. I feel like um, the person, somebody here is being reserved, okay? And it may be you needing to be in control here as the Emperor. So you may be reserved at this time, okay? And I'm hearing like maybe you're not expecting um, for this person or maybe even a new love to come in for you. Now it doesn't have to be um, a lover. It can be, uh, the emperor can be a father figure. Okay, maybe your father is thinking about you and is going to reach out. Uh, I feel here too, there could be some gift involved. But the, it also can, uh, I feel here too, there could be a work situation. You may receive some sort of gift from your boss or something like that. But let's uh, pull some tarot, see what else comes out. So the challenge was control. So I feel like there's some sort of control, taming the emotions, okay, staying strong, maybe having the courage for something as well. All right, look at that. First card you have out is the Eight of Wands. You have the Magician. And you have the Queen of Wands. Okay, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. You got the tower. I, uh, and didn't I say it? I feel there's something going to happen. And you're not going to expect it. And that's why you have um, the coyote spirit, trust in divine detours. I feel there's something here. And look at that. We have the queen of cups and the king of cups. I feel for a lot of you this is a love situation. Two of swords. Let's just pull three more. You have the Seven of Cups. You have the Ten of Pentacles. And look at that. You have the King of Pentacles. And bottom of the deck, you have the Three of Pentacles. All right. I feel there's two situations here. I feel like this could be a work situation uh, or a love situation. Someone that you have a lot of feelings, a lot of emotions for, and they do as well. So interesting, the center of your reading, you have the Queen of Cups. So you do have a couple here, very strong couple here. Uh, I feel you and this person have a lot of feelings and emotions for each other. You have uh, the Eight of Wands the Tower, and the Seven of Cups. You know, this is showing up in your recent past energy. So this may have recently happened, or I feel it's going to happen pretty soon if it hasn't happened. But I feel like you're going to receive some sort of unexpected communication from this person. Somebody here who has a lot of feelings, a lot of love, and a lot of emotion for you. Like I said, it doesn't have to be a lover. It can be a family member a friend, whoever. Um, this could be somebody too who lives at a distance. I also see the Eight of Wands as springtime. Um, so, you know, we're just, uh, we're typically in spring here. I feel like, you know, it's going to, when you hear from this person, it's going to stir up a lot of emotions. You may feel even a bit confused with the Seven of Cups. Um, 
I feel the energy like you, you don't know how you're going to respond. And I feel that's where you're going to need that inner strength, the control. Okay, not letting the emotions uh, get out of control because that's what I feel. It's going to stir up the emotions. Now, in the current energy, you have uh, the Magician, the Queen of Cups, and you have the Ten of Pentacles. I feel that uh, I'm definitely seeing love here. I feel that it, the, there's a chance here for a new beginning. I feel this person that you are dealing with, like I said, they have a lot of feelings and emotions for you. And I feel like they see you as somebody long term with this Ten of Pentacles. They see you as somebody that they can have a committed relationship with. If this is not love for you, I feel, um, I feel for some of you, this also can be about um, like a work situation. There may be some communication coming in. Uh, you have the emperor. Some of you may own your own business. I feel like too there could be um, some sort of project or collaboration or teamwork that's needed in a work situation as well. It's something that's unexpected. And uh, as I said, you know, there are divine detours. So you might not understand why this is happening. But I feel, you know, they, it may be that you're needing to um, create something new or reinvent something um, to get to your Ten of Pentacles. But I feel for a lot of you, this is going to be uh, a love situation. You have the Queen of Wands, the Two of Swords, and the King of Pentacles in your near future position. So, like I said, I feel there's someone coming towards you. Now, it can be new love, too. It doesn't have to be somebody from your past. Uh, it can just be a soulmate energy coming towards you. Somebody you, that you wouldn't expect. I feel here, too, it could even be somebody you know, like a friend. It could be somebody you went to school with or, you know, in college or uh, you met this person. Maybe they were an acquaintance. Uh, you have the Queen of Wands and you have the Two of Swords. I get here that there is an opportunity for a, a new beginning or to make things happen in this connection. Um, and I get here though, there, there's something holding you back. As I said in the beginning, I felt you, me, your challenge would be control or being reserved. Um, and I feel that your energy here is a bit indecisive. Now, it may, may be for some of you, this may stir up a lot of emotion for you if this is someone that you know, but there is some sort of action you're needing to take because I do feel like this person is coming through uh, with an offer, okay? I feel, uh, I feel for a lot of you, this is someone that you know only because you have the Tower, the Queen of Cups, and you have the Two of Swords. I feel when you hear from this person, you're, there's just a lot of emotion that's going to be stirred up within you. Now, it can be that maybe it's been a long time um, in love and, you know, you have some fears about moving forward with love. But for others, I feel this is somebody you may know. There may have been a past situation um, <clears throat> where maybe the person you were dealing with in the past was indecisive. But I get a lot of emotion here that is being stirred up, okay? So it can be past situations. And, and because of that, I feel it, it may make you feel a bit um, indecisive or having fears about moving forward in the situation. But I do see there is stability here with the King of Pentacles. The King and the Ten, and the Ten of Pentacles are both right next to each other. So I feel that whatever this is for you, it is going to bring about a lot of stability. Now, with that, it doesn't mean that there's no work to be done because there is teamwork, there is collaboration uh, that's needed. With the Empress here, I do sense that, again, this is an opportunity for things to grow, to manifest, um, and to turn into something very beautiful and abundant, as I said here with the Ten of Pentacles. You also have the judgment card. It shows me, again, I do sense there is something being healed from the past, um, something that is, I feel is divinely guided as well with this judgment card. 
And so I've, again, I'm really getting this as something that you weren't expecting with this divine detours and the, the tower card here. I also am getting the energy that we talked about with the hummingbird spirit. Okay, the hummingbird spirit not to be to think about too much in the future or in the past. So I feel like they're saying when this when this comes around, when love comes around with the nightingale spirit, just be in the moment. Okay, don't get caught up in the emotions try to be strong try to uh, hold back those uh, emotions and be confident is the energy that i'm getting here because i do feel whatever this communication is for you whether it's a work situation a family member a love situation i do feel it's going to get back on track to a place where it's stable again so let's pull a few uh, wisdom of the oracle see what guidance there is look at that <laughs> truth be told number 14 which is five so yeah i feel this is going to transition into something beautiful again I, i'm getting the energy just be in the present be in the here now be your true authentic self this is also about your heart chakra your heart chakra okay your heart chakra opening so if you're having problems or you, you know there's blockages or you feel um, you can't move forward okay be open to love maybe you're guarded uh, go ahead and do the um, heart chakra meditation I have below but I do sense with this card that uh, I feel like you will be open to love again. Okay, there is a chance for a new beginning. There's definitely uh, loving energy coming towards you. Let's pull another card for Pisces. Look at that. The Yang energy, beautiful energy. Number one, a new beginning. This is something where I feel if you can be open to this again i feel like you are going to receive maybe in the past you were the giver okay this is uh the yin and yang energy divine um masculine and divine feminine energy and i feel this is the energy of receiving and maybe in the past you were the giver but i feel like it's going to be different this time it's your time and i feel if you can open your heart to this person i do feel that they are going to put in the time and effort if they did not before okay and like i said it can it doesn't have to be a lover it can be someone that you just love deeply this can also be you uh, opening up your heart chakra uh, i talked about the sacral energy there okay this can just be you feeling passionate about work again okay something unexpected happens and it changes things for you let's pull one more card okay you have the Y card which is number 31 which is four so I feel like you're gonna be unsure about this because of these past emotions that I'm seeing here you may have a lot of questions you may need to get some clarity before you take any action uh, let's see what you have on the bottom of the deck yeah you have all that glitters okay all that glitters is not gold so that's a challenge there I feel like you may um, be questioning the the intentions of this person which is okay you may need to ask questions to get clarity before you make this decision is what i'm getting let's see what else is here you have milk and honey so that's really nice energy number six i do feel like there's going to be a lot of peace joy and happiness that's coming in for you with this milk and happiness i mean milk and honey but i do see happiness there is a rainbow there all right let's see what else you have you have chop wood okay so i get here you're questioning why because there may have been a, a period of time where you know nothing was happening the energy was stagnant and then boom out of the blue this person comes in and i feel like it's going to take you off guard and, and uh, really stir up some emotions all right so i wanted to close out with one final message here and uh, I didn't pull out the deck so let me do that
so we're going to do uh, a message from your spirit guides. Oh, help if I take that out too. Thank you, uh, spirit guides, for your guidance. What message do you have for Pisces? Let's get one message for Pisces. Dearest Pisces, there is only one you, and you have a unique path and a special purpose. You're supposed to have a specific experience, I'm sorry, you are supposed to have specific experiences in this world and meet certain people, but then it is up to you how you live, how awake you choose to be, and how willing you are to grow and strip away what's false. Don't compare yourself to others. It's easy to think a person is happier just because their outside looks good according to society's standards, but you can't know anyone's internal experience. Compare yourself only to your past self. See how far you've come. Don't be distracted by what others are doing or accomplishing. Stay focused on what inspires you. That's how you get successful and find happiness. Want what you have now, not what someone else has. We love you immensely and know your journey ahead is sparkling with miracles and wondrous things. Trust, loving you forever and ever. So yes, beautiful energy there. And I, I get there that you know, trust, a trust in these divine detours because they are leaving, leading you where you are meant to be. Okay, so the best place to be for you is to be in the here and now. So Pisces, I feel like you have a very positive reading. So again, uh, details are below if you want to enter the giveaway or check out my new channel. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of day or evening and I'm sending you angel love.